Recent technological advancement and globalization have continued to make the 21st century more fluid, complex and challenging. To confront these challenges, organizations pursue avenues through which their corporate security and survival can be achieved. One of such avenues is to enhance the capacity of the employees to understand the complexities of the operating environment and achieve organizational goals. It is against this background that the Naval War College Nigeria, NWCN, was conceptualized to enhance the operational capacity combined with sound leadership philosophy of senior naval officers to respond effectively to the complexities of Nigeria's maritime environment. Accordingly, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibokete Ibaz, constituted a committee in September 2016 to work out the modalities of establishing the Naval War College Nigeria to fill observed skills, knowledge and abilities gaps in the Nigerian Navy. The committee's report gave birth to the Nigerian Navy Order of August 2017, establishing the Naval War College Nigeria to hone the skills of middle-level senior officers in operational planning and leadership that would ensure favorable outcome of war. To bring this dream to fruition, a pioneer team comprising the immediate past commandant, Rear Admiral T.C. Udofia, staff and members of directing staff were appointed in June 2017, armed with the vision and mission of the college. For you to be able to deploy a credible force, uh, you must have a well-trained, well-organized and motivated workforce uh, that will be able to prosecute uh, the mandate. The Pioneer Naval Warfare Course 1 of the college was therefore inaugurated on 21st July 2017 by the former Honorable Minister of Defense, Mansour Mohammed Dan Ali, at its temporary site in Ubima, River State. The NWCN, however, witnessed the change in command with the pulling out of Rear Admiral T.C. Udofia honorably after retiring from over three decades of meritorial service. They saw the coming on board of Rear Admiral Adesheye Ayobanjo as the college commandant saddled with the responsibility of steering the ship of the college. The commandant is not alone in this leadership task as the Deputy Commandant Commodore J. O. Okosun oversees both the administration and academic arms of the college. The college secretary, Commodore M. G. Orman, supervises the administration while the college provost Commodore S. A. Akinwande heads academics. The college faculty also plays a critical role in impacting knowledge on the participant. Poised to develop senior naval leaders and equivalent from other services as operational level commanders with thorough appreciation of complex national security problems who are prepared to make sound decisions in the application of maritime force as a policy option. The Warfare Course curriculum is designed into seven modules. The Naval Warfare Course, which started as a six-month program today, has its curriculum reviewed to cover eight months, starting with the Naval Warfare Course 3 and its modules include National Security Affairs, Interagency Cooperation in Maritime Security Operations, Leadership and Management Studies. Others are Naval History, Naval Campaigns, Joint Operations and Operational Arts and Peace Support Operations. Module 1 introduced the participants to issues of national security and organization of defense through a series of lectures on Nigeria's national security by erudite scholars drawn from the military and the academia. The module concluded with a consolidation exercise to deepen the participants' understanding of the dynamics and complex issues of national security. Module 2 introduced the participants to interagency cooperation in maritime security operations. After a series of lectures from security agencies within the maritime environment, the participants visited Bielsa State to appraise the cooperation of the maritime agencies in tackling maritime security challenges. Also, a seminar was held on interagency cooperation, which culminated with a sea trip with some maritime stakeholders. To further expose the participants to international collaboration, the participants undertook a study tour to Kenya 
to compare the experiences of the sub-regional navies and maritime security operations. During the visit, the participant interacted with the Chief of Naval Staff of the Kenyan Navy after listening to a brief on the contributions of the Kenyan Navy in tackling maritime security threats within its maritime environment. We require a lot of collaboration, indeed synergy with other uh, maritime stakeholders in our nation's maritime environment. The synergy is very perfect and I'm sure we are continuing on that. Already there is a partnership between the Navy and NDLA. In order to develop the leadership competences of the participants to enable them to take sound decisions in the employment of naval force, Module 3 exposed the participants to the dynamics of military leadership at the operational level. The series of lectures and the consolidation exercise laid emphasis on the experiences and personal attributes required for an operational leader to function effectively. Modules 4 and 5 dwelled more on naval history and campaign duties. Participants were exposed to theories of war and the study of contemporary naval campaigns or battles in order to analyze their outcomes through consolidation exercises. The climax of the warfare course is Module 6, which aimed at exposing the participants to joint operations and modern concepts of operational art. Consequently, in collaboration with the British Military Advisory Training Team, BMAT, an intensive package was conducted to expose participants to conducting operational estimates using settings on contemporary maritime security challenges. Module 7 of the Warfare course is designed to enhance the participants' operational knowledge and competences in peace support operations. The package was therefore conducted with the assistance of a team from the National Defense College Nigeria, which is an accredited center of excellence in strategic training in peace support operations in Africa. The package assessed the operationalization of the deployment of African Union and ECOWAS standby forces in peace support operations. For the course three participants, the inauguration in March 2019 signaled a permanent relocation of the Naval War College Nigeria to Calabar, the Cross River State Capital. Blessed with a beautiful and serene environment, the college is better equipped to deliver on its mandate with greater impact on participants. Though currently hosted within the premises of the Eastern Naval Command, plans are underway for its relocation to the permanent site. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, they say. Therefore, it wasn't surprising as the Naval War College Nigeria organized some extracurricular activities to enhance their overall fitness and wellness. The college commandant, Rear Admiral Adesheye Ayobanjo, speaks on the journey so far. Uh, in the past one year, the college has been able to make contributions to policies of the armed forces and government in general. For example, the college made contribution to the uh, review of the national security strategy. Uh, we made the far-reaching contribution. Uh, we've also been able to make contributions with respect to submission of position papers to the NAVA headquarters on you know, various uh, issues of interest to the Nigerian Navy. Uh, so those are humble achievements. Uh, the, uh, the college is always poised to do more in uh, service to the nation and uh, the world at large. These proud senior officers, including 15 commanders, Two wing commanders and one lieutenant colonel set sail about 32 weeks ago. They have weathered the storms through operational art, naval operations and strategy, defense policy, maritime security operations, command leadership training and campaign planning analysis, as well as the dynamics of interagency cooperation and international military collaboration. Today, these participants have birthed alongside, secured their training ship, and are now ready to go ashore and share the knowledge acquired. Congratulations, Course 3 participants.